Mark, an hour defeat to Solihull today. How do you reflect on it? Yeah, again, it's, uh, it's, a fr it's frustrating for us because um, it's a real open game. It's a game of transition. Um, a lot of counter-attacks, both for and against. Um, we haven't made the most of ours. Again, our final, our final execution creates a frustrated feel for us and uh, some sloppy moments defending and, and they duly punished us. Um, but yeah, we, it, was, it was an open game. We've, we've attacked the game. There's two teams trying to win it. Um, but yeah, we just haven't quite done enough, which is, which is again, frustrating for us because it's a, you know, an, an opportunity missed. Fortunately, we get another chance on, on Tuesday. Um, but look, the, the application and the, the battling was there. Um, you know, some, some, some sloppy moments at times. Uh, but like I said, it's a lively game. It's two teams. You know, they're, they're very athletic, powerful, and uh, you know they, they keep the ball well. They, they counter-attack well. So you've always got to be on your guard. And it's, um, like I said, we, we need to find that, that goal earlier. We should have, we should have gone ahead with Mr. Giltwedge's chance early, early on. And like I said, that, that gives a different complexion, a different feeling around the group. And then unfortunately, we've, ha we've handed a, helped them with a, with a goal. Um, which, which, is, which is frustrating, but um, you know they get the feel-good feeling, and, and then we, we've got to then work hard to, to get that that that, uh, that feeling into into our group. But look, we, we never stop. We always keep, uh, you know, we continue to fight. We continue to make openings. We continue to attack. Um, but as I said we just couldn't couldn't get that that, that final bit right. I spoke to Jacob earlier, and he said about it being clinical, and then that being the difference today. Do you feel that was the main reason why we ultimately lost the game today? Yeah, and that's why we are where we are for this season. We haven't had that clinical edge as much, um, and like I said, we, we defend so well for large periods. We've attacked really well for large periods, but football's a game of both boxes, and and uh, we probably haven't got the vital moments in the games right enough this season. But you know, we'll we'll, we'll continue to to work hard to, to fix that, and uh, you know, and keep. Keep carrying the fight. I wanted to ask about the team lineup. Obviously, unchanged again for the side against Dagenham and Yeovil. There seems to be more of a, an attack and intent in these next few, last few games rather than hopefully for the rest of the season. What's changed in that time since? No, I think we've always tried to have that attack and intent, like circumstances of the game di dictate. Um, but we, we're trying to get on the front foot. We're trying to find ways of, 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 of uh, winning the game of football. Um, you've got to get the, the balance right. Have you seen Solihull? We've got some real good attacking players and they, they can counter on us just as much as we are countering on them and uh, like I said they possess a, a lot of quality and, and that probably just got them over the line today. Yes, of course it was two goals from them obviously we had the chances throughout the game and obviously a late strike from Kins has got a nothing more of a consolation a good moment for him but ultimately no points for us today. Yeah but you know we continue to knock on the door we, 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 like I said we've had a lot of final third entries and like I said they were, they were they're a good side, and uh, you know we asked a lot of questions, and I said we just we couldn't we couldn't find that that final bit of quality, which has uh, sadly been eluding us for a bit. But there's a chance, another chance on Tuesday for players to be heroes, players to to show that they're, 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 they've got the confidence to show that they you know they're going to be the man to make that to make that difference, to make that telling pass, that telling finish. Um, you know, big big prize at the end of it. We're well well aware of that, and um, yeah, like I said, the, the goal comes too too little, too late at the time, but we were we were banging on the door. We kept, we kept trying to attack the game, um, but like that, a bit, bit too sloppy and wasteful, um, you know, in, in possession at vital, vital times, which, which was frustrating because we got so we worked the ball really hard, we worked really hard to get the ball, you know, they're a good side and we had to work for everything that we that we got, but they, like I said, a bit, bit wasteful uh, with that, with that final, final product, that final exit pass, that final finish, um, but we'll. we'll there's plenty of positives to take. Um, you know, we've been undone by two good sides, Dagenham and Solihull, who have who have who have punished us in two even games. Um, so, you know, we'll lick our wounds, and we know that someone's the prize is there for someone to take the ball by the horns and, and come up with that telling moment or that telling pass or assist, and um, you know that can change the whole feeling uh, of the place. And um, I said the, the the prize is big. And we've got to make sure that we're, we're ready to bring the fight on Tuesday. I wanted to touch on Jordan Ngala as well. Obviously, it's his second appearance and he's come on at half-time. And I think he did, he did have a bright spell in today's game. Yeah, he did. Again, another, you know, he's technically a good footballer, wants to receive the ball, can drive, can dribble, can, can make openings. And uh, he said, we, um, yeah, it's another, another positive performance for him as he, as he you know, gets used to playing, playing for us and hopefully growing, growing into that Aldershot shirt. Just a final note, Sinclair Armstrong, a few fans are wondering what's the latest with him. Obviously, the injuries still... You know, waiting to see what's the latest for him. Yeah, we, we you know we're still waiting. We're uh, you know f fingers crossed that you know he can join us sooner rather than later. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.